Shalom, this is Ephraim Buckwald. And oh my gosh, this past Sunday, on the first day of Elul, they began sounding the shofar at morning services. And they'll be doing that for the entire month of Elul with the exception of Shabbat. And that's to remind us that soon the high holidays will be at hand. And we have to prepare for those very important days by doing tshuva, by repenting and preparing ourselves for those days of judgment. Now, there is a very, very major philosophical issue in Judaism. The rabbis tell us that hakol tzafui, that God has foresight, he's omniscient, he knows everything. Barashut mitna, and nevertheless we have free will. Well, if God knows what we're going to do, then how can we possibly have free will? Well, there are those who say that it's sort of like a parent and a child. Uh, he gives the child the cho choice whether to have uh, chocolate or whether to uh, stay in the corner. He knows the choice that the child is going to take. But there is another response. And that response is that each and every one of us has a destiny decreed for us. If we do certain actions, that destiny is our fate. But we can change our destiny. How can we change our destiny if God knows what the end result is going to be? We can change it by changing ourselves. So if I do good deeds, I'm no longer the Ephraim Buckwell that I was five minutes ago. I'm a new person. And therefore, my fate may be different. Now, it's true that God knows that I'm going to do these deeds if I'm going to do these deeds. It's true. And that's why some of the Kabbalists say that the true answer to this question is tzimtzum, that God restricts himself. He shrinks himself. And he chooses not to be omniscient in order to give us free will. Whatever the answer to this philosophical question is, here we are in the month of Elul, and we need to prepare. So I wish you all Godspeed and much success in doing good deeds and in making sure that your destiny is a good one.